Hi everybody, this is Miss Emily with STEM and I have a fun activity for you today. You are going to need a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll or an empty soup can, Chef Boyardee can, anything that will allow you to stick something all the way through it, both ends, whatever you've got laying around the house. I've got plenty of these laying around, so why not? You're gonna need a ruler, possibly, scissors, I'm using a magazine, you're gonna need paper. I'm using a magazine paper because I wanna see if it'll work. And I've got plenty of magazine paper around. You're gonna need tape and a bit of string, all right? So we are going to make a bee hotel. Does this look like a bee hotel? I might have to color little stripes on it or something, I don't know. This is gonna be a bee hotel. So there are bees outside that are called mason bees. Mason bees are not honey bees. Mason bees rarely sting, and if they do sting, their little stinger cannot penetrate human skin. It's not strong enough, so it's not gonna hurt you even if they did sting you. And mason bees are awesome because they pollinate 20 times more than a regular old honey bee. Here's the cool part. Mason bees do not live in, um, What's it called? In a, they're solitary. They do not live in a hive. They don't live with other bees. They fly around on their own. They do their own thing. And they don't make honey. They don't, but they do pollinate things. So that's important. All right, so let's start. What you're gonna need to do is fill up your container, whether it's a soup container, toilet paper roll, whatever, with lots of little tubes. Because a mason bee does not live in a hive, it doesn't have the honeycomb, um, it's gonna have little tubes. They lay their eggs in tubes and that's how they do things. So pull out your paper. I have a paper right here. What your big thing is, you, wanted, you want the tubes to be as long as your container. So my tube goes to right there. It's about half of this page. So you can fold it in half, you can cut it. What you want to do is then, I cut mine in half and then I cut them into fourths. You're gonna roll it up so that the diameter Here's a math skill for you. This is why math and science go together. The diameter is across the opening of the circle, right? The diameter has to be around eight millimeters. Well, oh, that's inches. You need centimeters. So a centimeter has 10 millimeters. So you want eight of these little marks. That's how wide you want your circle. Or something a whole lot easier, about the size of a pen or a skinny marker. That makes it a whole lot easier, right? So you're just gonna roll it around there. Get it rolled, there we go. Mine are clearly a little bit long. I'm gonna tap it down to make sure it's as straight as it can. And then you're gonna tape it, just to keep it in place, right? So then I'm gonna stick it in there, and I'm gonna move on to the next one. And I'm gonna make as many little tubes as I can, because you want them to be able to stay in there without falling out. You're gonna hang your little bee hotel outside. I would suggest putting it around a, um, near a window just so you can see it because someday, out of nowhere, you're gonna notice this sweet little bee getting all tired and he's gonna need a place to crash, right? And so they're gonna go in there and they're gonna lay their eggs in there and then they're gonna go get some mud and some spit and make some mud and they're gonna seal up the tube where their egg is. A regular bee would use the pollen and regurgitate it, and that's honey. Honey is basically bee spit. That's why vegans can't eat it. And so these, these bees don't make honey, so they have no bee spit, so they gotta go get mud, and they gotta pack it in there nice and tight so that their eggs stay safe, all right? So when it's all full, and you don't have to tape them in there. Once it's full and they're pretty tight in there, it'll be fine. Then you're gonna take string and you're gonna wrap it around there and then you can hang your bee hotel outside and it can swing freely. That's normal for the bees. That's, they're fine with it being outside. If it's gonna rain, you know, be careful of the paper. Make sure you pick it up if it falls on the ground. We don't wanna be litter bugs. We wanna take care of our bees. Bees are super important for our world. All right, so make your bee hotel and then investigate. See what bees go and live in it. See if any bees live in it. You never know. All right, see you later. Bye.